what I'm here to do. Could it inspire you? We headed to the moon. Look, yeah, I'm living proof. About to bless off like zoo. We about to take the roof. We have a look. We headed to hey, the moon. This for the coach, just stacking up beats like this folks. Just we on the moves, we in motion. I believe I got a notion. Nothing but love, that's devotion. But just don't fuck me up with the commotion. I can be bad, man. It turns to the joker, depot with the low. Cause I'm trying to stay focused. I see it, I want it. That's hocus and focus. And while I fall in my hands, but I give it to Allah. He blessed me with more and more overflow. Tied I know I'm the best. I don't need your fake shout outs. I'm putting the work like an OVO night out. Look real as you see it. I know that you know this. I keep it 100, never sugar coated. I'm locked and I'm loaded. Pockets getting bloated. The goat on the mic, you dealt with who they voted. Today I want to share some impressions of one of my favorite devices that I've been using lately, the DJI Mic 2. Now this microphone is not exactly new, it's been out on the market for the past couple of months now, but I've been gathering some thoughts and impressions and I wanted to share them with you today because as a drone channel it's extremely important to get good audio because we don't have any audio from our drones. So if we want to really immerse our viewers into the videos that we make, especially the cinematic ones that really we really put a lot of effort in, audio is extremely crucial to get that extra depth in our videos with the sound design. And because of that, we need good audio. Now, of course, we can kind of get away from this problem by using sound effects from different royalty-free websites, but nothing beats the real thing because it's the most natural thing and it's always, you know, the, the effort that you go into to record the audio yourself makes it worth it because then the audio matches the exact environment, the exact settings that you were in. Uh, and of course, it's it adds a little bit more fidelity into your video. So for me, it's always the preferred option, even though it requires a little bit more work, of course. But all the audio that you heard from the beginning of this video in the intro from the Nissan 370Z, was recorded on a DJI Mic 2. Uh, now, of course, it was not exactly perfect because uh, I mistakenly uh, had put low cut option to on. Uh, and that low cut option has to be turned off because it kind of cuts off a few frequencies that uh, when you're recording car sounds more specifically, they need to be there. Um, and that also kind of muffles the audio a little bit, but that's my bad, it's not the microphone's fault. Uh, so next time I record something like this, I will make sure to turn off the low cut uh, feature because it will give me a little bit more dynamic audio that has a little bit more power to it, if I can say that. Now this microphone has been great for me, uh, not only in a video like this that you saw in the intro, but also in everyday scenarios where I want to capture um, some vlogging here and there, for example. Now, this microphone has been the one that has been uh, included in the creator combo from the Osmo Pocket 3. So if you have seen my video about the Osmo Pocket 3, you already know the fact that this microphone connects to your device automatically and you can start recording straight away with a great audio without having to uh, tweak any settings, without having to even, you know, go into the menus. It's great. It's just perfect for me to to start going and start recording when I'm on the go uh, and, uh, and have great audio automatically coming out of this device. So that's perfect. Now, this also connects to my Osmo Action 4 wirelessly, which is great again, because sometimes the Osmo Pocket 3 is not the ideal device to, to use the microphones on. Sometimes you want to, uh, to have a little bit more action, for example, and for that the Action uh, 4 is perfect and you can still wirelessly connect this microphone to that, um, not only for vlogging, but also, like I said, for more action scenarios where you still want to capture good audio. I think in every scenario you want to capture good audio. Who wants that wind noise and who wants to have, you know, shitty audio? Nobody, I think, uh, prefers that option. So having that ease of mind and, and, and ease of use uh, from the DJI Mic 2 is great. Now, the microphone itself, we have uh, a box that uh, contains not only uh, 
the transmitter but another transmitter as well and we have this uh, receiver which is a little bit better than the one that we had on the DJI Mic 1. So it has a little bit bigger screen. We have a 1.1 1, 1 inch screen, if, if I'm not mistaken, versus 0 0.9 inch screen on the DJI Mic 1, which I have somewhere be behind me. We have a little wheel here to go through the menus and access the settings. Of course, we still have that touch screen here on the front, and it's extremely easy to go through all the different receiver and transmitter settings to enable or disable some features, or go back to factory settings in case you screw things up and you want to go back to, to the original settings. Uh, of course, we also have these two little uh, adapters. We have a lighting adapt adapter and a USB-C adapter. These are super uh, convenient to have to connect to your uh, smartphone, whether that's an Android device or an iPhone. You can use that to uh, connect that to the microphone uh, and it all snaps back through the magnets to uh, the original positions of these. Uh, devices very easy and convenient and we have these lights here on the front uh, telling you how much battery you have. When we talk about the battery life it is extremely impressive because each microphone gives you about six hours of non-stop running time to record and when you put it back into the charging case it starts charging straight away and it, that amounts to about 15 to 16 hours something about around that of total usage time from each microphone which is really really impressive. So you can go for more than a full day of shooting, in my opinion, with these microphones uh, and you will still have some time left on the battery, which is great. Now let's go back a little bit to the receiver itself because there are a couple of things that I want to talk about. Uh, one of them is the fact that, of course, it is magnetic. So with this little magnet here on the back, you can attach this microphone under your shirt, for example, like this, if that's more convenient for you. But if not, you can just remove that and use the built-in clip to put it here on your collar, for example. Um, in the case, we also have these, these wind muffs, which are super crucial for shooting outdoors and they just click on. You don't have to twist them or do anything. They just snap on. Uh, and then if you want to remove them, you just, yeah, you just remove them. And that's it. Um, on the side of the device, we have the power button, the link button. On the other side, we have a USB-C because this microphone has eight gigabytes of built-in storage. So you can use this as a standalone recorder and then access the recordings from this as a USB flash drive, for example. And then we have the record button. We have LED indicators on both sides of the microphone. So you know if the microphone is turned on and if the microphone is turned on and you press on the power button, then you enter into the intelligent noise cancellation mode, which I'll demonstrate in a second because it's really good. Now, usually when I record, let's say in my studio, I wouldn't use that because I don't have other noises. And let me demonstrate that. Right now you're still hearing me from my boom microphone, which is just outside of the frame. Uh, it's a studio boom microphone, very expensive one, uh, but it's, kind of stuck in my studio. Uh, but if I want to have good audio, no matter where I go, this is how the sound sounds like from the DJI Mic 2. I think it's pretty good from what it is and for how small and portable it is. Now let me demonstrate uh, the sound from the microphone when we have noise cancellation because it's really cool. And for that, I will press the power button. Now the indicator goes to yellow. Uh, showing that we are in noise cancellation mode and I'll start recording. And now let's find a source of noise, which for me is my drone. So here we have the DJI Mini 4 Pro. I will put it here on the side and I will take off with it so you can hear how the sound changes when we have a loud noise in the room. So now the drone is right next to me it's dangerously close, if I can say that, but hopefully you can still hear what I'm saying on the DJI Mic 2 with the intelligent noise cancellation feature. Let me just move the drone a little bit. So now it's about one meter away from me. And let's see if there's any big change in how the sound sounds like with this feature. 
and now the drone is around two meters away from me. It's still very noisy here in the studio, but hopefully you can still hear what I'm saying and hopefully it's clear enough to kind of block that noise away. You let me know what do you think about this feature down in the comments. And finally, one major thing that I want to focus on when it comes to the upgrade coming from the DJI Mic 1, which was still an amazing microphone to this, is the inclusion of this new feature called 32-bit float, which I think many people are crazy about nowadays and talking about a lot because it is a massive thing for this microphone being so tiny. It has this built-in memory, like I said, eight gigabytes on which you can record 32-bit float audio which if I should compare it directly, it, I would compare it to a RAW photo. It records a lot more data and it stores it in a bigger file, but has that dynamic inside the audio that even if you're recording something that is very, very loud, it, it will lower the audio levels automatically so you can capture clear audio. And if you're even if you're whispering, it will raise up the levels a little bit to capture that whisper sound from your mouth. So it doesn't have to be super low and super high audio, but kind of, but it kind of normalizes itself to a, a, a leveled uh, stage where you can hear everything. So that will save you so much trouble, especially if you turn on 32-bit float and kind of have this uh, feature enabled and, and use this uh, as a backup because you can record uh, with the microphone uh, and have that, you know, original audio and then have a backup track with 32-bit float stored on the mic itself. So if you have some sound peaking, you can go back, uh, access that audio file and get that portion of audio so it doesn't peak and use that in your edit. Whereas if you only have one source of audio, then you're kind of stuck with whatever the microphone records. And sometimes we all know we end up in situations where you, you don't have control over what's going on. You cannot even tweak your settings uh, on the fly. You don't have access to the microphone and somebody starts shouting or something like that. And you will end up losing uh, your audio because of peaking. Now with this feature, you don't have to worry about that. It's a great, great time saver and lifesaver in general to access the audio as it should be. All in all, with the bigger battery life, with the new bigger one inch display, with the more compatibility and connectivity options that the Mic 2 has, and especially with the 32-bit float feature on the DJI Mic 2, I think it's a fantastic upgrade if you're coming from the DJI Mic 1. If you don't have an external microphone like this, I would highly advise you to check out the Mic 2 because it pretty much covers you wherever you go with whatever you want to do in all sorts of areas. And it's still super tiny and compact and you can use it every single day. And that's one of the things that I carry with me now every single day, wherever I go, because I don't want to be stuck with, you know, bad audio. So now I use that a lot with my, not only with this main Sony camera, but also with my Osmo Action 4, I think is an amazing, tool for vlogging, uh, especially if you want to, you know, have that ability to kind of stick your camera to anything uh, and use that afterwards in your videos. So this is the mic too. I'm highly impressed from it. I highly recommend you to check it out. It will be linked down in the description. Let me know if you have any questions. I would love to help you out if I can down in the comments and I'll see you very, very soon in my next video. Take care. Ciao.